I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sew Anastasia. Today, I'm gonna go over how to sew leather on your home sewing machine. I know you think you might need a special sewing machine for sewing leather, but you don't necessarily need one. You can use the home sewing machine that you have right at home, and I'm gonna show you how. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, now teaching sewing classes virtually and in person. So you can check out all of those different classes at SewAnastasia.com or you can click on the link below for SewAnastasia.com. Before we sew up our sample leather, we're going to need a few supplies. We're going to need a leather needle. A leather needle has a special shape. It's kind of spear shape. So that way it goes right through the leather and it doesn't struggle. So make sure you grab some leather needles. It is the most important part of all of this. The next thing you're gonna need is some special thread. You wanna make sure that your seam is nice and durable and doesn't rip apart when you're wearing your leather garment, carrying your leather garment, whatever kind of leather garment or project that it is, we want it to be nice and durable. So make sure you stay away from all purpose thread. So the first one I'm gonna show you here is a top stitching thread, which is extra durable. And the other thread that I like to use is this super heavy duty nylon thread. Now this comes in all different weights depending on the project you're using. So make sure you look up a guide so you know exactly what nylon thread to buy. You can also use heavy duty polyester thread or you can even use a wax thread as well. But these are my two preferred threads, the top stitching thread and the nylon thread. You also wanna keep in mind that leather comes in all different weights. You can get it from being paper thin to being really thick like the leather for a belt. Now consider that you probably can't put the leather as thick as a belt through your sewing machine, but you can usually put most leather for a garment or a bag through your sewing machine. It's really gonna depend on the thickness. The thickness of the leather I'm going to be using today, I would say is about a 16th of an inch, and I'm gonna put two pieces together and put it through the sewing machine and show you how it works. But this is probably as thick as I would go on a regular sewing machine. If you get any thicker, you're probably gonna wanna start leather punching it and hand sewing the leather. So let's head over to the sewing machine and sew a few pieces of leather together. Another thing you're going to need is going to be a walking foot. So the walking foot helps balance out the feed of two really thick pieces of fabric. It could be fake fur, it could be leather, it could be a bunch of quilting batting. It's really gonna help the feed of the leather be even. So this is really important. You can try it without a walking foot, but if you find that your top or bottom layer is pulling differently than the other layer, then you're gonna wanna grab a walking foot and this is gonna solve all those problems. So the thicker the leather, you're probably gonna need a walking foot. The thinner leather, you're probably not going to need a walking foot, but it really all depends. You might also wanna try a Teflon foot as well. You're gonna notice when I'm sewing that you're not gonna see the big walking foot on my machine because my machine has a lever in back that I pull down that acts as a walking foot. So it's already attached to the machine, so cool. Today I'm gonna to be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2, but you can use any sewing machine that has a straight stitch. I have my sewing machine set up with the walking foot. I also have my top stitching thread in the top of my machine and in the bobbin. So I've went ahead and I cut two strips of leather and we are going to sew them together. My sewing machine also has a leather setting, so I went ahead and touched that and it changed some things in the machine with the tensions and such. So if you don't have a leather setting on your machine, make sure you play with the pressure of your foot and the tension and there is no right or wrong to a number on this so I definitely suggest grabbing some scrap pieces of leather and testing out the tensions until you get one that works for you okay let's sew some leather up it is so easy so we start we're just gonna start like a normal seam we're gonna come forward a couple stitches we're gonna go backwards And now we're gonna come forward. Don't push or pull your leather, just keep it going. Let the machine take it at its own pace. 
And when you get to the end of your seam, backstitch and cut. You'll notice how nice and even the stitches are on the stitching line. They're super consistent. The back stitches worked really well. And it's all because we put in the right needle and we used the proper thread and we set our tension properly as well. I bet you didn't think sewing leather on a home machine would be so easy. It is so easy. We did it. We sewed leather on the home sewing machine. Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I would love to know your thoughts on this video, so leave it down below in the comments. Give us some applause and give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewy Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. I would also love to see your sewing projects. So make sure you tag me at Sewy Anastasia or DM me photos so I can repost them in my stories. Don't forget, I'm also now teaching virtual and in-person sewing classes, and information for all of that is gonna be on SewingAnastasia.com, or just follow the link down below. If you'd like to help grow Sewing Anastasia, make sure you hop on over to Patreon. Even just a dollar a month keeps us sewing going and growing. Thanks so much for watching, bye!